invasion of the moths. Britain's buying higher quality clothes and washing at 30 C fuels infestation rise with pest control callouts up 110% in a month. Consumer trends towards buying higher quality clothes and washing at 30 C could be contributing to a rise in clothes moth infestations, a pest firm has suggested. Rentagill said callouts to moth infestations had increased by more than 110% from April to May and by 60% over the last four years. A survey by the company found that 52% of people buy fewer items of clothing than they did five years ago, and 59% prefer to buy good quality clothes in the hope they will last longer. However, Rentakill said higher quality clothes were often made with natural materials such as wool and silk which contain a protein called keratin, the preferred food for moth larvae. The poll also found 54% of people are more likely to wash their clothes at 30 C now than they were five years ago, but Rentakill said 55 C was the temperature required to kill moth larvae. Moth infestations can happen at any time of the year but infestations can be reduced during winter as the cold weather slows the life cycle of moths. Eggs are tiny at around 0.5 mm, with larvae just a few millimeters long as well and so can be difficult to spot. Irregular sized holes will appear in clothing affected by a moth infestation. There are several methods that can be used to repel moths, ranging from natural to chemical-based remedies. Cedar can be hung in bags within closets or in between clothing items and wardrobes in order to kill clothes moth larvae. However, the effectiveness of the cedar fades as the scent does and it is necessary to sand the wood lightly to replenish the scent. The method only kills off young larvae, but not eggs or older larvae. Another natural remedy involves hanging lavender sachets within your closet to protect wool against moths. But this method will not kill off eggs or larvae and so should be used together with another method. Man made treatments include mothballs, which contain pesticides. They work by releasing a gas which kills off the moths, but have to be used in tight spaces such as a drawer rather than a closet. Source Martha Stewart It found 13% of respondents have had a moth problem, suggesting that more than 6.8 million Britons have experienced damage due to larvae feeding on their clothes. David Cross, from Rentokill, said, May's unseasonably warm temperatures and the early start to summer has helped to create the perfect conditions for moths to breed and potentially thrive in British households. With a prolonged breeding season, clothes and soft furnishings in British homes could be at increased risk to damage caused by moth larvae feeding on the natural fibers they contain. Washing clothes at high temperatures or having them dry cleaned are practical methods to help remove moth larvae from clothing. Earlier this year English Heritage released the results of a survey launched after experts saw the numbers of common or webbing clothes moths double, and observed the appearance of the pale-backed clothes moth. The survey, which saw thousands of traps handed out at English Heritage sites and received data from 42 counties, discovered an alarmingly high number of the new species the pale-backed clothes moth. It also revealed that the reported catch of the common clothes moth was significantly higher in London and the southeast, where an average 23 moths were found per trap, than anywhere else in England. The top tips for preventing clothes moth infestations include checking for moths in the creases, folds and behind labels of clothing, keeping items in vacuum bags, and taking out items from the wardrobe and giving them a good shake at least once a month to disturb the moths.